Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Thanks for the warning. They live. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy.
Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Oh. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'll miss
miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julia. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. You are ridiculous. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. If you don't let me out, I will. What scream. did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ugh! At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Speaking of selfies. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. They should call this series aloof. 
cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just... I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This isn't even recycled paper. Victoria's not doing her part to save the earth. But this is for a good cause too. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Poor Juliet is about to get smited with truth. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Mm. 
That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. I assume Dana kept the appointment. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. There's that damn flash drive. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Ow! That Fuck this shit. Ow! Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Now that's what I call instant karma.
I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying hey, them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? Somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard.
That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. How? That sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? 
If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. What are you bitch. talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher? Not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you'd hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. 
Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. It won't play without any power. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. 
Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Is this a desk or a storage space? Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop, but I love how funky and outdated it is. She even covered it in punk stickers because Chloe doesn't give a shit. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. There's the power strip. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. see anything. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy, of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am.
This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh shit, poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Uh-oh, the prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Act, react, or die a 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self help. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I guess they're aging, these books. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Feel autumn pushing out to summer. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. 
What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. The tools might be in this cupboard. I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Should I switch this on? Decisions, decisions. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Nothing. This is so lame.
look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That does not look stable. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see, the tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Man. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max.
I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off, turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up, we need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where I'm else? I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast! You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway. Let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, 
This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Oh, this will be a great nature shot. Stay still, birdie. I got you. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. People can be such pigs. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A tree haiku? How pretty. How long has that been here? This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun.
sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
Lord! The tornado is back! blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. <laughs> 